there's a cat down here, so maybe like while my lipstick's drying, I could pick up the cat. Sounds like a good idea. This is why there's cat hair all over everything that I own, all over me. It's because I fucking love my cat, okay? Hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be playing with some new lip products. That's why I have an entire face of makeup on and no lip. I received some stuff from Lick Cosmetics. They're a new company, or at least new to me. And I thought it'd be fun to play with this stuff together because I've got a bunch of lips, cream lipsticks and then some liquid lipsticks. Did the packaging of of this stuff really just won me over. It looks so cool. And wait till you see what the lipsticks inside these tubes look like. So we're gonna be playing with this stuff and swatching it together. So without further ado, let's fucking do it. Okay, so to start out, Lick Cosmetics apparently is only sold at Kohl's. I just found that out because I looked up their website to check on pricing and it looks like they're exclusively sold at kohl's.com and possibly in store so that's pretty interesting the uh the, the first little item is a lip balm these retail for seven dollars this is in the shade innocent it's like a, just a cute little wash of color it's so fast and easy to put on but uh that's what it looks like it's really light and smooth and like kind of thin and it feels nice it's a good lip balm next up we've got three liquid lipsticks here just the packaging is so freaking cool like I'm, I'm obsessed we'll see how they wear these retail for $12 and then we've also got seven cream lipsticks right here these retail for $14 the lip balm honestly feels really nice on my lips and I hate to have to take it off but that's what we gotta do now I think I want to start out with the cream lipsticks cuz those ones probably have the least risk of staining my mouth let me open up one of these for you because you're going to die when you see looks like it's just gonna be a standard like lipstick in a in a square like in container right you open it up do you see that I'm obsessed I don't know about you but I haven't seen a lipstick in this shape before. I think it's really cool and I'm super intrigued to see if it's going to make things easier or harder. Let's just shut the fuck up and try it out. This is the shade Enchanted. I'm gonna start with lightest first. Okay, not bad. It's really easy to get away with uh, new lipsticks. You can't see a lot of the mistakes that you could potentially be making. Applying it with this like diamond shape is definitely different than a regular lipstick shape, but I think it helped out with the Cupid's bow. We'll just keep going and we'll try some of the other shades, but that is enchanted. Next, I'm gonna try this one, which is Scandal. I <laughs> feel like this is a little hard. It's definitely hard to look attractive while you're doing this. I'm sorry you're all seeing the inside of my mouth. Whoops. It took a little bit of building up for that color. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing with this, this lipstick shape. As you can see, trying to get into the corner of my mouth right there, it like went a little overboard, but nothing that a little concealer can't fix so that one is a scandal it feels very nice and creamy on my lips so that's a plus next up is this shade right here lover So that's a really pretty color. I like it. It did take a little bit of building up just like the last one, but I don't know if that's maybe just cause I'm getting, con I'm getting foundation on my lips, but um, I feel like it's almost impossible to just to go in like freestyle with this and not clean it up with concealer, which is kind of annoying. I know that they have lip liners uh, cause I saw them on the Kohl's website. I didn't receive any of them, but, huh. So that is Lover. That one looks like it stained a little bit. 
the next shade we have is stunning. Let's hope it's stunning. am I doing? I'm like, this is... Okay, so that is stunning. It's an absolutely beautiful color. I love it. Such a gorgeous, like, wine color. But, I gotta say, especially with the darker colors, the shape it's like applying your lipstick with a square <laughs> shape lipstick. So it's a, it's a little hard, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. I'm gonna keep going. Next shade we're gonna do is called Obsessed. The tube itself is, do you hear that rattling? It's kind of cheap, not gonna lie. So what I've been doing is line it up like, line up the straight line on the lipstick with your lip and that's how I've been lining doing it I don't know it's so messy okay so here is obsessed I am obsessed a little bit with this shade I think it's gorgeous all right, my lips are starting to hurt a little bit, not because the lipstick, because the lipstick feels pretty hydrating, but just because of the wiping. Two left, this next one is called Fetish, and honestly, this color is right up my alley. It looks really cool. Oh, it's like, some of them have this waxy layer that you need to get through that's covering up the product before you can actually like get any color payoff. I'm having a hard time getting a nice even layer. The color really reminds me of um, the NYX Liquid Suede. Oh, I just went down to swatch it and it just, it broke off. I know that there's a way to fix this with a lighter, but I honestly just don't think I'm gonna be using the, this again. Cause as I was saying, the color is exactly like Amethyst liquid suede by NYX and this stuff is great pigmented it's not patchy it goes on really well it's easy to apply so I'm gonna clean up the sides a little bit just so we don't look like a hot mess all right so that was fetish I had really high hopes for that one and I was mostly disappointed by that one might be the one that's changed the most too I look like I've been using one of those lip plumping things that you suck on. Like my lips <laughs> look bruised. Alright, this is the last of the cream lipsticks in the color Magic. Alright, I'm into it so far. Messy. Once again. So that was magic. All right, so I'm gonna take that one off and move on to the liquid lipsticks now. Just cause my lips are kind of dying, I wanna put on just a little bit of a base. This is the metallic version of their liquid lipsticks and it's in the color Rebel. These things I have pretty high hopes for. Packaging is beautiful, and then if you look at the wand, it's got a really nice point on it, and then the little open part that'll hold more product so you don't have to like dip in a bunch of times. Looks like it's gonna be really easy to apply this stuff, so let's see how it goes. Oh wow. That smells. That smells like a. Uh, a nail salon did not smell good that is fucking gorge I think it dries down matte though so let's let it dry and then we'll see what it looks like all right so that's rebel um 
looks beautiful, but holy shit is it sticky. Like to the point where it actually is like it hurts. It's hurting my lips. Like this is the most aggressively sticky liquid lipstick I've ever had on my lips. Like oh my god it just feels like it's going to be such a pain to take off. Okay so the next one is called Crush. Oh my god the smell. The smell is so strong it's crazy. You know the... The applicator I do like, but the fact that it's angled like that, it kind of makes it hard for you to flip it over and use the other side. Like, that's what I like to do when I do my lips. I do one side for the bottom, and then I flip it over and do the top so I don't have to dip back in. But the way it's angled is kind of like... It's hard to use. Maybe it's the lid? I feel like the packaging is why I thought this stuff was so cool, but now it's like biting me in the ass. So I can feel that this matte one is drying down faster and drying down just more in general than the metallic one. If your liquid lipstick is like taking forever to dry, test it out. Once it's mostly dry, you can kind of just lightly tap with your finger or and it'll help it finish drying. So this is Crushed. Absolutely gorgeous shade. I love the shade just don't like how it feels on my lips. Here's the last shade and it is called Outrageous. It's like they tried to put a little bit of an artificial scent on this but it doesn't cover up the really strong chemical-y smell. This one's kind of streaky. It's like not fully opaque. Which I feel like the goal was for it to be totally opaque, but it's not. <laughs> My body has given up on this, this whole thing. It has betrayed me. I'm just, I was trying to just touch up a little bit and like kind of smooth out this mess and I went crazy. Don't think that would have happened if I didn't, I wasn't trying to smear this extremely sheer and patchy and runny liquid lipstick. But it's already starting to dry down. This isn't a very good swatch video, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, so that's outrageous. I was hoping that this one was gonna look cute so I could wear it out, but I need to take it off. I'm going to take it off and put on like something else and then I'm going to finish up my final thoughts. So what's on my lips right now is a combination of ColourPop Tootsie Lip Liner with 9 to 5 Ultra Glossy Lip on top, Ultra Glossy Lip on top, and then just of course the staining from all of those swatches that I just did, but I actually think it looks pretty cute. And uh, the Glossy Lip, I need to get more of these because they feel so nice they're cheap they feel nice and they're pigmented so I need to get more love those I also really like Colourpop's lip liners as for the stuff that I just tried out unfortunately a little bummed out by all of it the cream lipsticks were hard to apply the shape made it hard to apply you know it's a bummer it's a cool shape um, I guess they should stick to like a regular traditional lipstick shape and keep these like unique shapes for more of like you know the foundations or the contour sticks because you don't need that precision but with lips you really do need precision and I feel like I shouldn't have to clean up with concealer every single time because I can do my lipstick with a traditional regular lipstick tube shape and not have to clean up or not need lip liner in order to do it you know and the liquid lipsticks Love the packaging, love the idea of it, but also hate so much about it. it smells absolutely horrible. Like, it smells like I'm putting toxic chemicals on my lips. Not good. You know, I've never smelled a, a, a lip product or makeup product that smelled like that. It smelled like you're putting nail stuff on your lips. Pretty easy to apply, but they're just uncomfortable. That's the, the stickler for me. They're just uncomfortable. At this point in my life, I have a lot of different liquid lipsticks. I've bought a bunch, I've received a bunch, and I'm just not willing to wear an uncomfortable liquid lipstick anymore. You know what I mean? There are much better ones out there. 
if I were to suggest a few. For metallic liquid lips, you've got these Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams in metallic. They're comfortable, they're pigmented, they're easy to apply, and they're drugstore, and they smell like vanilla cupcakes. Kind of similar. These colors aren't exact dupes, but in place of these liquid lipsticks, I would recommend the Milani Amore Matte Liquid Lipstick is really nice. Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. Comfortable. Don't remember what it smells like, but it probably doesn't smell like chemicals. The Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Drugstore comfortable pigmented great stuff and then atomic makeup that's the end of the shit show hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you learned something give me a comment below i'd love to hear from you and um yeah i'll see you in my next video bye i have some um what was i saying like verbal verbal diarrhea everywhere oh yeah i forgot to say that Weird things about filming yourself is like you see the weird shit that you do that you would never notice and when I'm putting on lipstick, anybody else do that? Like my tongue has to be touching the top of my mouth. It's totally involuntary. Is it me or is it not coming off? It's having kind of a cool effect on my lips. I kind of look dead. Like I'm a dead person who had a popsicle. God damn it, dude. You can't be up here. Kitty break. <laughs>